they sprayed something to my eyes. It's not too bad. I guess my contacts helped. to Marseille, I've spent a month in Toulouse. And Toulouse is a typical Western European city. Educated, clean, safe and a little boring. I've hardly seen there any violence. But then I got to Marseille. I don't know why is it nature, sun, sea, like the whole atmosphere, but even making like small, basic, everyday things make me happy here. In Marseille, there are special restaurants for people with small fingers. before going to sleep and randomly found this concert. The atmosphere there was amazing, like one of those moments when you realize right here, right now, it's the best place in the world. They sprayed something to my eyes. It's not too bad. I guess my contacts helped. I got to a police department just to be sure, like, uh, maybe like they can help me, or at least to safely get back inside. Uh, and they're like, oh, no, no, we are, we are going the other direction. We cannot help you. <laughs> I just got back home. Just to make it clear, I don't blame anyone. Like, it's always my fault. I like exploring the, the whole spectrum of society, especially the extremes. And it's quite risky. So, like, it's always my fault. And this time I've made a stupid mistake. So, so it, was, it was 5 a.m., they, they were loud, they woke me up, I got down. Uh, it was another fight, nothing special. And then I found a quiet place. Uh, and started recording a video, like short analytical video about immigration and violence. Not actually, not actually like very negative, just analytics. And uh, I, I, I had an idea that nobody could hear me. But then uh, a guy approached me, and he's like, at first he was very professional. It's not the first time he had done that for sure. He's like, first he. Asked me like slowly. He was slowly approaching me, and he asked me like, "Hey, do you have light uh, like for cigarettes?" I'm like, "Oh no, sorry, man, I don't, I don't smoke." And then he's like, "What did you say about immigrants and spray me?" It was only French, so I suppose he did not understand what I was saying. He just heard the word immigrants and assumed it's like something bad and like, but <laughs> it was my fault. I, should, I, I guess I, I haven't noticed him. It was dark. Um, <laughs> but the irony just. The irony of the situation. So I'm saying immigrants, some immigrants in Marseille tend to be violent. And the guy approaches me and is like, did you say immigrants are violent? And sprays me like, did you say I'm violent? Bah! <laughs> irony. Ugh.
<laughs> yeah, contacts helped me a lot. I just uh, pulled out one contact and it was very painful. And now I have to pull out the second one and I'm like, uh, do I really need two eyes? Just, yeah, let's keep it there. I'm always trying to find positive, uh, positive aspect of whatever is, ha is happening and like I've seen a really beautiful picture of, of moon right right above uh, the roof of the house opposite to mine. I'm, like I, my camera was stolen, so I cannot really shoot it in like high quality, just my on my phone. Uh, so like I'm not sure if you can see it well, but it's really beautiful. And if I did not walk, if I did not wake up at like 5 a.m., I wouldn't see it. So yay! <laughs> Men never grow up. In Toulouse I stayed next to a very poor area. And there are there were a lot of a lot of immigrants, like disproportionate amount of immigrants there, mostly African immigrants. I talked to them and they're they're poor. They're sad, I would say even depressed. And they're drunk, they're drunk all the time. But they're peacefully drunk. They were, they're overall peaceful. Why is it so different here in Marseille? The only answer I see is religion. I will show you a short clip. This is me in a similar southern region in Russia after a human rights protest. What I see here in Marseille is a slightly more civilized version of the same thing. Like, I feel the same energy. Like, those people attacked me multiple times, they threatened to kill me. Like, I'm supposed to be angry at them, but I just cannot. They have been brainwashed from the childhood. Like, we are good people, and those are bad people. They are infidels, they don't believe our God. We also hate those women and those men. This is bad, that is disgusting. It's like all this mess full of hatred and disrespect and intolerance. It's just extremely hard to grow up into a decent, kind, compassionate, intelligent human being under those circumstances. I don't know how many generations or centuries it will take, but eventually people will stop believing those violent medieval stories. And then people will finally unite against our real enemies. Aliens. Let's have a short trip along the sea coast. Give a lot for the nice weather and sea. Like Toulouse technically is also the south of France, but it's it's one big lie. Like first there is no sea, so it doesn't count. And second, I spent there the whole July, and most of the day the weather was the temperature was was around 15 degrees. It's ridiculous. In fucking Siberia, it's warm in July. No. no. I'm always honest with you. If I like the place, I say it like it is. If I hate it, I hate it. 
But this time, I don't know. Like, would I love to live here? No, never. But as a tourist, I enjoyed exploring this place a lot. So I think it's worth visiting at least once. And the next time, I will show you the dark side of Marseille. Those parts of the city that are very, very not recommended for visiting. Wish me luck.